Hi YouTubers, it's Smoke Hesse, uh, Cecily on effects for today. So I'm in the garage again smoking a cigar, and I'm drinking some, uh, Corona, and, uh, yeah, so I'm 24 years old, obviously. Okay. Now, I want to do a video because it's not about, uh, my personal channel, but I want to do a video on this topic. So, I was on Facebook today, obviously I have a personal Facebook, and I also have my Facebook fan page on, U on uh, Facebook. And obviously, I like quote like a lot of it, uh, pages on Facebook. I think I ha I've liked like uh, almost 900 pages uh, over the last five years. <clears throat> so one of those pages is NBC News, and on NBC News, it has announced officially. Um, the announcement has been made via news, NBC News. The first state that's going to raise the smoking slash tobacco purchasing age to 21. Now, there are some places in Massachusetts where I live where you have to be uh, 21 by town or county, whatever. Uh, some states have raised it to 19. New York City has raised it to 21. But this is the first time, the first ever time in U.S. US history that a state, on a state level, not a local level or county level, they've raised the age to 21. So, the first state to raise their age to purchase tobacco and electronic cigarettes is, drumroll, is Hawaii. Yep, Hawaii. So, Hawaii, as of January 1st, 2016, is going to be the first state, the first state, sorry, I can't talk today, is going to be the first state to officially raise their age on a state level, not a local or county level, to 21. Already some counties in Hawaii are 21. I believe Hawaii County is 21, according to the article I read. But yep, Hawaii is going to be the first state in the nation to, on a state level, to be 21 years old to buy tobacco products and tobacco-related products. Really, really, really um, weird. It's like... You know, 15, 20 years ago, you could buy, every state was 18 years old, and a lot of places didn't, whatever. So it's like, you know, we're not going to get into a long debate about it, but it's pretty amazing um, how tough they're cracking down on tobacco products, our cigars and our pipe tobacco. So pretty um, amazing. It doesn't affect me because I'm 24, so if I ever go to Hawaii, it doesn't affect me. I mean, for somebody like, I did a video several months ago on, um, you know, a long, long ramble on raising the age to 21. Uh, should the, the tobacco age be raised to 21 in response to Joffrey the Giant's um, YouTube video and the FDA's study on that, but who knows? Um, I'm not sure where it will all end. Um, it doesn't affect me because I'm 24 years old. I can drink, smoke, all that kind of stuff, but for people who are under 21, it's going to affect them a lot. Um, yep, so, anyway, not that I encourage underage smoking. <clears throat> I'm totally against underage smoking. I think once you're 18 years old, you should be able to do whatever you want, within some reason. But when you're under 18, nope. If you're under 18, you're not old enough to have a cigar, pipe, cigarette, whatever. Anyway, just wanted to give an update on the, that, that, um article I read, it was really interesting. Um, you can Google it pretty easily and, and find it through a Google search. Just Google NBC News Hawaii raising their age to 21 to buy tobacco. Anyway, just a quick video. Comment, rate, subscribe, press one, two. Give me your thoughts. Do you think it's fair? I know most places in the United States are 18 to buy tobacco. Um, cigarettes, cigars, pipe tobacco. Do you think it's fair? Do you think they're being overzealous? Do you think they're being ridiculous? Do you think it's just pure bullcrap? Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's great? Leave a comment below. Comment, rate, subscribe, press, press, press when you want to, and bye.